Hello guys and welcome to the series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to look into the max age cookie attribute and the expires cookie attribute. Along with that we will also discuss on the session cookies and persistent cookies. So let's begin. Expires and max age attribute defines the time period of a cookie until which the cookie will be stored into the browsers. So if the server wants the browser to store the cookie for certain amount of time then the server will use the max age cookie attribute or the expires cookie attribute. Now let's discuss about the max age cookie attribute and expires cookie attribute one by one. First of all we have the max age cookie attribute which contains some numeric value as its value. Now based on the numeric value its functionality can vary. The numeric value in its general form defines the second value. So for example, if the max age value has been set to 86400, that is the equivalent number of second in a day. That means the browser will store the cookie for one day. So if the value is positive, then the cookie will be stored into the browser till that number of second has been elapsed. Now if the value given into max age is zero, then the cookie will be deleted right away and if the value given to the max age is negative then the cookie will be deleted when the user will close the browser. So as soon as the user will close the browser the cookie will get deleted. So it can have positive value, negative value and the zero value and based on the value its functionality can vary. Now after that we have the expires cookie attribute which defines a specific date and time until which the cookie will be stored into the server. So as its value it generally has that day, after that the date and then the time and then the time zone which is generally given as the GMT time zone. So until unless that particular date and time is not matched the cookie will be stored and as soon as that time frame is elapsed the cookie will be deleted from the browser. Now let's discuss about the session cookie and persistent cookie. So firstly a session cookie is a cookie that is deleted as soon as the user closes the browser. So if the browser is open then the cookie will be there but as soon as the user closes the browser those cookies will be deleted. These types of cookies are known as the session cookie. They are valid till the browser is opened. Now this can happen in various case scenarios for example if we set the max age as negative then that cookie will become the session cookie because as soon as the browser is closed that cookie will be deleted. Also when expires at max age is not set by the server then also that cookie will become the session cookie by default. Now opposite to it if the max age is set with some positive value for example 23 that is for future 23 seconds or expires value is set for some upcoming time then the cookie will be stored even though you close the browser. So these cookie are termed as the permanent cookies because even if you close the browser the cookie will be stored into the browser and it will be applicable when you again open the browser and visit the same site. So if the cookie is having some future values and it will stay to the browser irrespective of whether the browser is being closed or not. These cookies are termed as the persistent cookies. Now there are some important points that you should know about when you are dealing with max age or expires cookie attribute. The first point is that various version of Internet Explorer like IE6, 7 or 8 have discarded the use of the max age cookie attribute. So if you have set the max age cookie attribute then that cookie attribute will be neglected. Now consider some browser that supports both that is max age and expires cookie attribute then max age will have the higher priority. So during that case expires will be ignored. Due to these two reasons that sometimes some browser will support one things and sometimes some browser will support the other things or the priority will get shifted it is always recommended to use both of the things together so that as a developer or as the application owner your application can work as it is required and you will not face any issue due to the browser's incompatibility for supporting various attributes. And the final point is that various browsers like Google now has set the upper limit for the future date till when the cookie will be stored into the browser. For example, for case of the Google Chrome, the cookie can only be stored till 400 days and after that it will be automatically deleted. So they have set some upper cap 
on to how long the cookie can be stored into the browser right and for google chrome it is 400 days however as a developer you can always renew the cookie for example after 200 days you can renew those cookies and then it will again applicable for next 400 days right so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see in the next video